Chapter 11 Master will return with you. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Within the luxurious palace, Xian Yi sat cross-legged inside. By the time Gu Yi was brought here, Xian Yi had already opened his eyes. Elder Xian After the mission was completed, the disciples of the Profound Sword sect clasped their fists respectfully and left. In the huge hall, only Xian Yi and Gu Yi were left. Xian. Elder Xian. Elder. Hearing this, Xian Yi raised his eyebrows. Master. Gu Yi hastily changed her words. Her face was slightly rosy. Her small hands tightly gripped the corner of her clothes. It could be seen how nervous she was at this moment. That's right. After nodding in satisfaction, Xiani looked at Gu Yi with a playful expression and asked, Do you know why I wanted you as my disciple? I'm stupid, I don't know. Gu Yi shook her head. Xian Yi did not immediately reply to her. Instead, he said, There are various types of spirit bodies in the world, such as fire spirit bodies that are extremely friendly to fire, sword spirit bodies that are naturally oriented to sword cultivators, and natural overlord spirit bodies. Without a doubt, the owners of these spirit bodies are all favored by the heavens. Similarly, they are extremely rare. According to my knowledge, in the entire heavenly wind kingdom, only the third prince of the imperial family is the owner of one, the astral spirit body. Apart from that, there are no other people in this kingdom who has one. Once they are born, they will be activated but some special spirit bodies require a certain medium to activate them. Now, you should understand why I took you as my disciple, right? Although Xian Yi did not speak bluntly, how could Gu Yi not understand the meaning behind his words? Master, do you mean that I have a spirit body? Gu Yi's mouth opened slightly, somewhat incredulously. If these words were to be said from someone else's mouth, Gu Yi might not believe them. However, if she were to hear them from Xian Yi's mouth, it was naturally impossible for him to be false. I. I possess a spirit body. Gu Yi was terrified. That's right. The spirit body you have is called the cold ice spirit body. It's currently in an inactive state, and you need ice spirit grass to activate it. Although this ice spirit grass isn't a high dot grade spirit grass, it's extremely rare. However, you don't need to worry about the ice spirit grass. Since I've taken you as my disciple, I will naturally find it for you. Master, Guei was incomparably moved. Don't be in a hurry to be moved. You have a spirit body. Your talent is one of the best in the entire heavenly wind kingdom and the entire Qin region. Don't disappoint me. At this point, Xian Yi's tone became slightly stern. Xian Yi could be said to have great hopes for Gu Yi. After the cold ice spirit body was activated, her talent would far surpass the other two disciples of Xian Yi, Lin Jin, and Wang Hu. With Gu Yi's talent, she might be able to break through to the soul condensation realm before Lin Jin, or even possess battle prowess of that level. Master, don't worry. I will not disappoint you. As for Xian Yi, apart from her worship, she was more grateful. If it weren't for Xian Yi, then Gu Yi wouldn't dare to imagine what fate would be waiting for her and her family. Oh's right. You also have a senior brother and a senior sister. Your senior brother is called Wang Hu, and your senior sister is called Lin Jin. However, the two of them are training outside and are not in the sect. I'll introduce you to each other when they return. During this period, you should stay at the Black Tortoise Peak to cultivate. I will go out and search for the ice spirit grass for you. Master, I. I'm afraid I have to go back to the clan first. Gue Yi's face was red, and she was a bit embarrassed. Seeing Xian Yi's puzzled gaze, Gue Yi hurriedly explained, It's like this, very quickly, she briefly explained the beginning and end of the period. Witherwood Gate Xian Yi frowned. He had heard of this Witherwood Gate before. It was quite famous in Jinnan province. 
Its reputation was even greater than that of the Sword Profound sect. Of course, this so dot called reputation was not a good one, but a rather notorious one. Even the sect master was not a good person. One could imagine that the sect master would have been exterminated if he hadn't had some strength. Since that's the case, I'll follow you back to Half Moon City. I want to see if the Witherwood Gate has the guts to touch you. It's fine if they don't have the courage. Otherwise, there's no need for the Witherwood Gate to exist. Dot Xian Yi's voice wasn't loud, but it was extremely domineering. The Profound Sword sect was famous for protecting their people, while Xian Yi was even more so. Ah. Master, are you going as well? Originally, Gui Yi only intended to tell Xian Yi the reason why she had no choice but to return to Half Moon City. However, she did not expect her master to return with her. Yes, I'll go to find out about the Ice Spirit Grass. It was true to find some info about the Ice Spirit Grass, but the most important reason was Gui Yi's safety. It was not easy for him to receive such a talented disciple, so Xian Yi did not want her to be in danger. Even though the Witherwood Gate was weaker than the Profound Sword sect, Xian Yi could not guarantee that the name of the Profound Sword sect would be able to deter them. The Witherwood Gate's people were all insane existences. Chapter 12 High Hopes on Gui Lan You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The members of the Gui family were placed in a quiet and elegant courtyard. Looking at the surface alone, there was nothing special about the courtyard. However, it was impossible to look at the surface alone. The intensity of the spiritual energy here was simply incomparable to the outside world. I'm afraid that one day of cultivation in here is equivalent to two or three days in the outside world. If I can continue cultivating here, a disciple of the Gui family spoke eagerly as he sensed the incomparably pure and dense spiritual energy around him. Don't even think about it. Other than the young miss, we probably won't have this chance. Someone sighed. This cultivation environment was not theirs. The second elder smiled and shook his head. The younger generation of the Gui clan was more concerned about their interests. However, as the second elder of the Gui clan, he was more concerned about the interests of the clan. With such a powerful master, one could imagine how much Gui Yi would accomplish in the future. The nascent soul realm may not be within her reach but becoming a high dot level soul condensation realm expert was definitely within reach. In the future, she could become an elder of the profound sword sect although this might not have anything to do with them, do not forget that Gui Yi was a member of the Gui family. The stronger Gui Yi was, the higher her status would be. Even the Gui family's status would rise with the tide. Not to mention anything else, just the words of Elder Xian's personal disciple alone was enough to make the Gui family existence that no one in Half Moon City dared to provoke. In the future, even the Wang family, whose strength was above their Gui family, would have to be polite to them. Thinking that the Gui family's current situation had not only been resolved but also that a nascent soul expert had been listed as a backer, the second elder was so excited that he couldn't wait to fly back to Half Moon City and inform the patriarch of this matter. Of course, the second elder knew that this was impossible. Flying through the air was the sign of a king realm expert. He was a small soul condensation realm expert. Thinking of the patriarch, the second elder sighed slightly. Ever since he learned that Duanli of the Duan clan had accepted the Witherwood Gates elder as his master, the patriarch seemed to have aged a lot throughout a single night. It wasn't just him, but everyone in the Gui clan had seen all of this. For this reason, the Patriarch did not hesitate to put his body down and beg for help everywhere. However, every time he returned, he would return without success. Every time he returned, they would be able to see that the white hair on the Patriarch's head had increased. For the sake of the clan, the Patriarch could have been said to have broken his heart. Half Moon City, the main hall of the Gui family, all of the elders were gathered here, including the Grand Elder. At this moment, everyone in the Gui family was like ants on a hot pot, anxious and desperate. 
When they thought of the Gui family that had been passed down for hundreds of years and was about to be destroyed in the hands of their generation, they felt an indescribable bitterness in their hearts. BVEC The noisy hall quickly became quiet due to the arrival of one person. This person was none other than the patriarch of the Gui clan, Gui Tiancheng. At this moment, everyone's eyes looked at Gui Tiancheng, their eyes carrying traces of hope. They longed for the good news that the patriarch had brought back. Patriarch, what did they say? The Liao family. Have they agreed? The first elder's voice was somewhat anxious. They agreed, but... The Liao family only agreed that they would come forward to help us plead our case, but they would not join in. Flying Feathers City was one of the top ten cities in the southern region of Jinnan province. Its overall strength and scale were greater than Half Moon City. Flying Feathers City had eight great clans, and without exception, each of them had experts at the eighth level of the Soul Condensation Realm. The Liao family that the Great Elder spoke of was one of them. The current Liao clan's patriarch was an expert at the peak of the eighth level of the Soul Condensation Realm. On the other hand, the place Gui Tiancheng went to was the Liao family of Flying Feathers City. The relationship between the Gui clan and the Liao clan was ordinary. The reason why the two clans were connected was that the ancestors of the two clans were close friends back then. Moreover, the Gui clan's ancestor had saved the Liao clan's ancestor's life. It could be said that he owed the Gui clan a great favor. The relationship between the two clans back then was pretty good. Although the Liao family didn't seem to care much about the Gui family, they had always interacted with each other because of the friendship between the ancestors. However, ever since the ancestors of the two clans passed away one after another, the relationship between the two clans had greatly deteriorated. If it wasn't for the fact that the Liao clan owed the Gui clan a favor, then the two clans would probably have long lost contact. No matter how deep the relationship between their ancestors was, it was still a matter of the ancestors. Now that the two forefathers were no longer present, the Sodot called friendship would naturally disappear. This time, Gui Tiancheng had gone to the Liao family of Flying Feathers City precisely because he wanted to use this favor. Originally, when they heard that the Liao clan had agreed, the Gui clan's people felt a wave of joy. However, when they heard the condition the latter had just agreed on, more than half of their joy dissipated. A promise to speak up. Wasn't this a just promise? What's the difference between this and not agreeing? If it wasn't for the fact that our elder ancestor of the Gui clan saved their ancestor's life back then, would the Liao clan be alive today? A member of the Gui family said angrily. To just speak up. How much was the Liao clan's face worth? Although Patriarch Liao and Duan Li's master were both at the peak of the eighth level of the soul condensation realm, Duan Li's master was backed by an enormous creature like the Witherwood Gate. The chances of him giving face to the Liao family were negligible. Forget it. As expected, even though the Liao clan is strong, compared to the Witherwood Gate, there's still a big gap. The Great Elder shook his head. Even though he was furious, it wasn't that he couldn't understand the Liao family's actions. Not to mention anything else, if he was the Liao family, he probably wouldn't have gotten involved. If it was just Duan Li's master, then it would be fine. However, behind Duan Li's master was the Witherwood Gate, a giant that possessed nascent soul experts. Faced with such a huge monster, the Liao family was extremely likely to be caught in the crossfire if they were to join the Gui clan. Thus, even if he agreed to speak up, it was most likely a decision that the Liao family's patriarch had made after a long time of deliberation. In the Liao family's words, they were all extremely benevolent and righteous. Who had caused the Gui family to provoke someone that they shouldn't have provoked? Everyone in the hall, including Gui Tiancheng, fell silent. So far, he had thought of all the methods he could think of, and all the people who needed to ask had also asked. All of his relationships had been contacted, but none of them dared to participate. The members of the Gui family were already in despair. Right now, I can only place my hopes on Lanner's side. 
third elder returned to his chair and closed his eyes. The loner he spoke of was naturally Goelan. I'm afraid. I don't have much hope either. The Profound Sword sect is an existence even more powerful than the Witherwood sect. Such a sect isn't that easy to enter. The Great Elder shook his head. This. Perhaps, it's the end of my Goy clan. Sometimes, he had no choice but to accept his fate. If this didn't happen, it wouldn't take long for the Goy family to surpass the Duan family and become the second greatest clan in Half Moon City. Unfortunately. There was no if. Chapter 13 So what if it was the sect master of the Witherwood Gate? You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next day. As soon as the sky brightened, Second Elder made everyone get up. He couldn't wait to report the good news in Half Moon City, so he didn't want to waste a second. Second Elder, why did you get up so early? A Gui family disciple rubbed his eyes and asked in a sleepy tone. It's a long journey. We can't afford to delay any longer. The day of the Half Moon City competition is getting closer and closer. If the competitor has not returned to Half Moon City before then no one would be able to bear this responsibility. They had spent two weeks traveling from Half Moon City to the Sword Profound Sect, but no one could guarantee that they would only need two weeks to return. If something unexpected happened on their way, they would have to bear the responsibility. But, Master has yet to rise. Guei continued. Since her master hadn't gotten up, she couldn't tell him to rush, right? She didn't have the guts. Master. Second Elder was stunned. Oh. Second Elder, I forgot to tell you. Master will return to Half Moon City with us. Only then did Guei remember that she did not tell Second Elder about this. What? Elder Xian is also coming. The second elder's voice rose a few decibels in vain, somewhat incredulous. Immediately after, it was filled with uncontrollable excitement. He was also worried. What if the name of the sword profound sect and Xian Yi couldn't intimidate the Witherwood Gates elder? Although that was not possible, he was afraid of the unknown. He was afraid of what might happen. If it was an ordinary power, it would be fine. However, this was the infamous Witherwood Gate, Second Elder, was truly a bit worried. Now, when he heard that the Guayu Master would return to Half Moon City together with them, all the worry in the Second Elder's heart was completely swept away at this moment. With Elder Xian here, let alone a mere Witherwood Gate Elder, even the Witherwood Gate's Master would be unable to do anything to the Guay family. That's right, Master said yesterday. Good, good, good. The second elder repeated good three times. He smiled and said, then there's no rush. Let's wait for Elder Xian to rise. There's no need for that. I'm already outside. If you're all ready, then let's leave. At this moment, the two of them simultaneously heard Xian Yi's voice. After walking out of the room, the two of them saw that Xian Yi had already appeared in the courtyard. There was nothing else to prepare. After tidying up, the Gui family gathered in the center of the courtyard. Xian Yi's mind moved when he saw this. Ao! A loud cry rang out. Immediately after, everyone felt that their surroundings were dark. An enormous flying demon beast appeared above the courtyard. Hiss! Other than Xian Yi, everyone was shocked by the sudden appearance of the flying demon beast. Especially Second Elder. When he looked at the enormous demon beast, he was extremely shocked. The people of the younger generation did not know, but he knew this flying demon beast. It was called the Scarlet Flame Sparrow, an extremely rare flying demon beast. Not only were these types of demonic beasts rare, but they were also extremely powerful. It was said that it was extremely difficult to tame such demonic beasts. It could be said that for it to allow someone to be recognized as their master was as difficult as ascending to the heavens. It was not something that could be done with your strength. So beautiful, Guei's eyes were sparkling. The Scarlet Flame Sparrow's appearance was indeed very beautiful. 
his fiery dot red feathers made the scarlet flame sparrow look like a fire phoenix. It was graceful and domineering. Do you like it? I'll give it to you if you like it. Xian Yi said as he looked at Gue Yi's eyes. There were quite a few beasts that belonged to Xian Yi. This scarlet flame sparrow was only one of them. Currently, Gue Yi was still a bit too weak. With a scarlet flame sparrow at her side, Xian Yi felt much more at ease. Ah! Gue Yi was stunned for a moment and was caught off guard. Give it to her. It wasn't just Gue Yi. The others, including Second Elder, were greatly frightened by Xian Yi's words. This was the Scarlet Flame Sparrow. To put it bluntly, the combined wealth of their entire Gue family was less than a tenth of the value of a Scarlet Flame Sparrow. This Scarlet Flame Sparrow had grown up, and an adult Scarlet Flame Sparrow was at least at the seventh level of the Soul Condensation Realm. Seventh Level of the Soul Condensation Realm After all, the Gue family's most powerful expert, the patriarch of the clan, Gue Tiancheng, was only at the peak of the fifth level of the Soul Condensation Realm. Such a demon beast that was even stronger than their patriarch and he was willing to give it away. Seeing that Xian Yi didn't seem to be joking at all, the Gue family's disciples' eyes turned red. If only they were Elder Xian's disciples. No, no, no. Master, this is too precious. I don't want it. Gue Yi, who had regained her senses, shook her head like a drum. Seeing this, Xian Yi didn't t say anything. Instead, he extended his finger, and a seal was directly imprinted into Gue Yi's sea of consciousness. Master. The instant the imprint appeared, Gue Yi's face turned red. How could she not have known that her master had forcibly given the scarlet flame sparrow to her? What? I haven't said anything yet. Let's go. Let's go. Xian Yi smiled in his heart as he looked at the somewhat depressed Gue Yi. He lightly leaped and appeared on the back of the scarlet flame sparrow. The scarlet flame sparrow's body was extremely large. It was not a problem for a few dozen people to casually sit on, let alone a mere ten or so people from the Gui family. When everyone sat down, the scarlet flame sparrow let out a few cries. Just as it was about to leave, Xian Yi's mind heard the voice of sect master Nantian. Elder Xian, are you going out? I'm going out. Is there anything you need, sect master? Xian Yi also communicated with Jian Nantian. I have something to tell you. The Purple Moon Secret Realm is about to open. Purple Moon Secret Realm The Purple Moon Secret Realm was the largest secret realm in the Jinnan province. It was also one of the three secret realms of the Heavenly Wind Kingdom, and it was ranked first among the three. Thousands of years ago, the Heavenly Wind Kingdom once had a genius named Ziyu who had appeared out of nowhere. At her peak, even the imperial family of the Heavenly Wind Kingdom had been suppressed by her. One had to know that when the Heavenly Wind Kingdom was at its peak, they had no less than three, peak ninth rank nascent Soul Realm experts. Even so, they were still tightly suppressed by Ziyu. However, Ziyu rose rapidly and fell even faster. When she broke through to the peak of the ninth tier of the nascent Soul Realm, she was suddenly killed by a mysterious power. When she was on the verge of death, she escaped to a vast forest with heavy injuries and entered a stone door before finally falling within the secret realm. That vast forest was the current Purple Moon Forest. That stone door was the entrance to the Purple Moon Secret Realm. At that point, the secret realm was only known as the Wuming Secret Realm. After that, the world renamed the Wuming Secret Realm, the Purple Moon Secret Realm. Even though it was known as the Purple Moon Secret Realm, in reality, she was hardly related to this secret realm. It was just that the world used her name to rename the forest and the secret realm. This secret realm had probably existed for countless years before it was discovered by the world. Oh. Org there were many legends about the Purple Moon Secret Realm. Some people said that the reason why Ziyu appeared was that she had obtained an extraordinary inheritance in this secret realm. 
Some people also said that this secret realm was created by a king realm expert because only a king realm expert could open space. Within the secret realm, there was a king realm inheritance. In the beginning, when the Purple Moon secret realm had just appeared, countless experts from the nine countries of the Hanging River region swarmed in. There was no lack of masters of various powers or even experts at the half-dot-step king realm who entered it, and they only wanted to pursue the illusory path of the king realm. Unfortunately, in the Purple Moon secret realm, these peak nascent soul experts did not find what they wanted. Although the items that appeared were treasures in the eyes of others, to experts at the peak of nascent soul, they were a pile of trash. After hundreds of years of unsuccessful searches, many peak nascent soul experts gradually lost interest in the Purple Moon Secret Realm. This was the origin of the Purple Moon Secret Realm. Of course, even though the peak nascent soul experts had lost interest in the Purple Moon Secret Realm, for those below the peak nascent soul realm, the Purple Moon Secret Realm still had great exploration value. Not to mention anything else, the treasures left behind by Ziyu when she died back then, her inheritance, too many people, still had great attraction. The legacy of a ninth-level nascent soul expert was enough to make countless people jealous. Although the Purple Moon Secret Realm was located in Jinan Province, various powers from all over the Heavenly Wind Kingdom would gather here. Some of the other kingdoms would even be involved. The Purple Moon Secret Realm's opening time wasn't fixed. The last time it was opened was 12 years ago. Apart from the fact that demonic beasts could not enter the Purple Moon Secret Realm, there were no other restrictions. Anyone could enter it. Sect Master, are you going? Xian Yi asked. I'm going. What about the Vice Sect Masters Yi and Yang? Vice Sect Master Yang, Vice Sect Master Yi will be in charge of the sect. During the next period, the Jinan province will probably not be peaceful. It could be imagined that once the news of the Purple Moon Secret Realm's opening spread, countless powerful experts would gather. It would be strange for Jinan province to be peaceful. When will it open? There should still be a period of time before the abnormal signs appear. All right, I'll rush over when I finish some things. Xian nodded and said, that's right, sect master. When Lin Jin and Wang Hu return if you have not set off yet, bring them along. Aside from Gue Yi, Xian Yi also had two disciples. Lin Jin and Wang who were currently training outside and were not in the sect. Lin Jin can come, but isn't Wang Hu's strength a bit too low? He hesitantly asked. The Purple Moon secret realm was filled with opportunities, but opportunities were often accompanied by danger. Within the Purple Moon mystery territory, demonic beasts ran amok, but the most terrifying thing was the humans. Every time the Purple Moon Secret Realm was opened, a large number of martial practitioners would fall within it. Only a small portion of these people died at the mouth of the demonic beasts in the Secret Realm, while the vast majority died at the hands of the humans that entered the Secret Realm. Although the Purple Moon Secret Realm didn't have any barriers and even a Qi Condensation Realm practitioner could enter, most of the major powers would not allow Qi Condensation disciples to enter it. Qi Condensation They were too weak and are unable to protect themselves. Thus, very few powers would allow Qi Condensation disciples to enter. Then just bring Lin Jin. After some consideration, Xian Yi nodded. Ever since he obtained the system, he had wanted his disciples to quickly increase their strength. Now that he had thought about it, there were some things that he couldn't be impatient about. Wang Hu was indeed a bit weak. After bidding farewell to Jian Nantian, Xian Yi and the others quickly departed, flying in the direction of Half Moon City. Chapter 14 Crossing the Dark Forest It was just that domineering. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Flying Feathers City, a clan meeting was being held within the Liao clan. The Liao family was indeed worthy of being one of the eight great clans of Flying Feathers City. Apart from their clan leader, Liao Tianxiong, who had reached the peak of the eighth level of the Soul Condensation Realm, there was another person who was also at the eighth level of the Soul Condensation Realm. 
Even though he was inferior to Patriarch Liao Tianxiong, he was not that much inferior. Such strength was enough for him to become elder in large sects as for that person, he was the Liao elder. Apart from that, there were no fewer than three peak seventh level soul condensation realm experts in the hall. There were more than ten at the seventh level of the soul condensation realm. From this, it could be seen that the difference between the Liao clan and the Gui clan was, no wonder the Liao clan didn't pay much attention to the Gui clan after their ancestors died. The strength of both sides couldn't be compared. The difference was too great. Even the Wang family, the number one clan in Half Moon City, was nothing more than an ant in the eyes of the Liao clan, let alone the Gui clan. Clan leader, if you want me to tell you, don't go to Half Moon City. Don't be too earnest to help. If you cause trouble, then the Witherwood Gate is not a power to be trifled with. One of the Liao family's elders couldn't help but say. The majority of the Liao family members were opposed to the Gui family's matter. The reason was very simple. The Witherwood sect was too powerful. With sea expansion experts overseeing the wooden door, it wasn't something the Liao family could afford to offend. Once they were angered. Liao Tianxiong frowned as he raised his head to signal for everyone to be quiet. I still have to go. However, I only said that I would come forward to help them. It would be best if that Witherwood Gate were to give face to my Liao family. If that isn't the case, I will immediately leave. Don't worry, this matter won't affect our Liao family. The trip to the Gui family will be taken by me alone. All of you will prepare for the matter of the Purple Moon Secret Realm. This time, the second elder will lead the group. The Grand Elder will be in charge of the clan. After I finish handling the matter of the Gui family, I will also rush over. Father, I'll go with you. I heard that Half Moon City is going to hold a grand competition. It's a good time to see that. At this moment, a petite young girl about 15 or 16 years old jumped out and said to Liao Tianxiong like a spoiled child. This woman's name was Liao Xiaoya. She was the youngest daughter of the family head, Liao Tianxiong. When she was very young, her father, Liao Tianxiong, had used her relationship and had sent her to the Flower Palace of Glory Province for cultivation. She had only recently returned to Jinnan Province. Therefore, she was extremely curious about everything in Jinnan Province. Glory Province was comparable to Jinnan Province. The Hundred Flowers Palace was a large sect in Glory Province. With sea expansion experts in charge, their strength was not inferior to the Witherwood Gate. It seems to me that someone is worried about something. This is playing a part right. Liao Tianxiong smiled and shook his head. He knew his daughter, Xiaoya. How could he, as a father, not know the little thought in Liao Xiaoya's heart? Father, all right, all right. You can come. Liao Tianxiong loved his little daughter to the extreme. How could he refuse such a small request? Moreover, in his opinion, this little girl was just playing around. The distance between the Sword Profound sect and Half Moon City was not too far. The reason why the Gui family had spent two weeks to arrive at the Sword Profound sect from Half Moon City was mainly that there were too many dangerous routes. There was nothing they could do but choose the safest and longest path. There were many dangerous places between Half Moon City and the Sword Profound sect, such as the Yellow Sand Mountain Range where there were many bandits, the Dark Forest where demon beasts ran rampant, and so on. They were all dangerous places that they had detours. When they arrived, everyone was very careful, terrified, afraid of any disaster. Now that they had returned, everyone felt an indescribable joy in their hearts. It wasn't the same as when they came here. On the way back, they ran amok, unrestrained. The dark forest, which was extremely dangerous to them, was not as they were now flying through the sky. It was extremely domineering. The one who sighed the most was the second elder. Looking at the demon beasts that were constantly fleeing in the dark forest below, he sighed with emotion. In the past, if they had seen the fierce demon beasts and had to walk around, but at this moment, they were being frantically fled from. 
There was no lack of high-dot-level soul-severing demon beasts. Everyone's hearts were filled with passion. This was strength. With strength, one could run amok without fear. In front of absolute strength. What is that? Scarlet Flame Sparrow. There are still people standing above. Xian Yi's group of people rushed forward. Not only did it alarm the countless demon beasts along the way, but it also alarmed some adventurers in the dark forest. Although the dark forest was dangerous, it was also the paradise of countless adventurers. Danger was often accompanied by opportunity. However, who wasn't cautious when it came to adventurers in the dark forest and afraid of alerting the surrounding demon beasts? Now, when they saw Xian Yi's group of people directly passing over the forest of darkness, they were speechless in their hearts, and at the same time, they were somewhat envious. If we encounter demonic beasts, we have to run away from demonic beasts. It's good that they don't chase us, but even demonic beasts have to walk around when they see them. Someone sighed. Heh, if you have strength, you can run rampant. The Scarlet Flame Sparrow is still an adult Scarlet Flame Sparrow. Its strength is at least at the seventh level of the Soul Condensation Realm, right? Crossing the Dark Forest, under the Scarlet Flame Sparrow's aura, their path was unimpeded. After passing through the Dark Forest, the next step was the Yellow Sand Mountain Range. After crossing the Yellow Sand Mountain Range, there was only half the distance left from Half Moon City. The Yellow Sand Mountain Range was an important trade route in this region. It was the only way for countless merchant groups. It would take a lot of time to spare. Too many merchant groups, time was money and they couldn't make a detour. As a result, there were also many bandits here. A caravan without guards didn't dare to pass here easily. Even if there were guards, there was no guarantee that they would be able to pass through this place safely. Chapter 15 Meeting Someone They Knew You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 15 Meeting Someone They Knew Everyone knew that the Yellow Sand Mountain Range was very dangerous, and there were many bandits. However, when they truly entered that place, they discovered that the Yellow Sand Mountain Range was even more dangerous than they had imagined. As soon as they flew into the Yellow Sand Mountain Range, everyone looked not too far ahead. A fierce battle was erupting. The scale of this battle wasn't small. There were a total of several hundred people. At a glance, one could see a lot of corpses. From the looks of it, it seemed to be a merchant group had encountered a group of bandits. Moreover, they were quite a lot of bandits. With a casual glance, Xian Yi knew that this caravan was finished. Although there weren't many people from the side of bandits, not even one dot third of the merchant team, all of them were experts. Of the dozens of people, the weakest was the seventh level of the Qi Foundation realm. The strongest one had reached the middle stage of the fifth level of the Soul Condensation realm. Such a bandit faction was no weaker than clans in some places. One had to know that the Gui clans, one of the three great clans in Half Moon City, strongest was only at the peak of the fifth level of Soul Condensation Realm. After a simple glance, Xian Yi withdrew his gaze. Help! Brave deeds! He he, he was not a holy saint. Xian Yi admitted that he was not a bad person, but he was also not a good person. On the other hand, the gazes of Gue Yi and the disciples of the Gue clan were slightly unbearable. Put away your sympathy. The more kind people in this world, the faster they die. Xian glanced at Gue Yi and said. Others, Xian Yi did not care, but he did not wish for his disciple to die one day in such a matter. Elder Xian is right. You are still young and have never experienced the dangers outside. The second elder agreed. The appearance of Xian Yi and the others quickly attracted the attention of a few people in the Yellow Sand Mountain Range, including the bandits and the caravan not far away from them. As the Scarlet Flame Sparrow flapped its wings, a wild gale whistled past. With such a large movement, it was difficult to attract people's attention. Some of the bandits that were waiting for an opportunity all turned their gazes upwards. 
TSK, this is too arrogant. They have no intention of slowing down at all. This is slapping our faces. Some of the bandits that didn't have prey said angrily. However, as soon as the bandit finished speaking, he was scolded by their leader. So what if I hit your face? Do you know that flying demon beast? The leader's tone was filled with ridicule as if he was mocking the ignorance of his subordinates. I don't know him, but, was it a flying demon beast? The leader's tone made him hesitate. Could it be that this flying demon beast was well known? It isn't just a flying demon beast. This scarlet flame sparrow will kill you. The leader said in frustration. His group of subordinates didn't have the slightest bit of insight. If it wasn't for him, they might have gone up and robbed him. He didn't have any brains at all. If they dared to fly so arrogantly, they would have absolute confidence in their strength. They didn't even pay attention to the bandits of the Yellow Sand Mountain Range. Is it that exaggerated? The Scarlet Flame Sparrow is an extremely rare flying demon beast. As for an adult Scarlet Flame Sparrow, its weakest level of strength is at the seventh level of the Soul Condensation Realm. If there's nothing to do, read more books. Don't provoke trouble for me at that time. To be honest, the leader was a little frightened. A seventh level soul condensation beast was only a mount. How powerful was the owner of its back? The ninth level of the soul condensation realm. Or perhaps. Nascent soul. What? Just that red dot feathered bird. Seventh level of the soul condensation realm. The bandits were a little shocked and they heard this. Not to mention them, even the strongest bandits in the Yellow Sand Mountain Range wouldn't dare to provoke a seventh-level soul condensation monstrous beast, right? What do you think? The leader said angrily. It was very important to know who they could snatch and who they could not. If they managed to grab the heads of some experts, they would die without knowing what to do. The Scarlet Flame Sparrow's body was a high-dot-level soul condensation demon beast, and its speed could be said to be fast. With such speed, it would probably take a few hours to cross the Yellow Sand Mountain Range. Back then, they had spent nearly a week trying to bypass the Yellow Sand Mountain Range. Now, it only took a few hours. Eh. As the Scarlet Flame Sparrow flew, a soft cry suddenly sounded from beside Xian Yi's body, Sister Xinmen. Second Elder, look. Is that Sister Shinman? The one who spoke was Guei. She pointed at a battlefield below and cried out in alarm. Perhaps the Scarlet Flame Sparrow's speed gradually slowed down after sensing his master's emotions. At this moment, not far from Xian Yi's group, there was a battle going on. No, it was not a battle, it would be more like a one dot sided slaughter. The three people, a young man, and two women were being surrounded and killed by a group of bandits. Guei pointed at one of the women with a zither in her arms. Her white dress was dyed red by blood. At this moment, she was plucking the strings of the zither and sending out several sonic waves to attack the bandits around her. Really? The second elder's eyes focused slightly. Sister Shinmen is still alive. Since she disappeared three years ago, there had been no news. I thought she had already, Beov looking in the direction Guei pointed at, the disciples of the Guei family quickly recognized the woman holding the zither. However, when a genius like her went out to train three years ago, there was no sign of her at all. The Guei family had used all of their methods, but they couldn't find any trace of her. Guei Xinmen seemed to have evaporated. Three years had passed. Almost everyone thought Guei Xinmen was dead, but they didn't want to, one. Jie Jie is elder sister. Chapter 16 Guei Xinmen's Shock You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 16 Guei Xinmen's Shock There was no suspense in this battle. The difference in strength between the two sides was simply too great. Of the three young men and women, the strongest was only at the ninth level of the Qi Foundation realm, 
and the weakest was at the seventh level of the Qi Foundation realm. Such strength was not weak in the outside world. No matter how powerful the younger generation was, even if they were compared to some sect geniuses, they wouldn't be inferior. But this was the Yellow Sand Mountain Range. The bandits who were surrounding them were all at the Soul Condensation Realm. Damn it! Those bastards! Gue Xinmeng's beautiful eyes were red. While she was in despair, there was even more humiliation. With the strength of these bandits, killing them was easy. But they did not. The bandits that surrounded them were not only planning to kill them but plan on slowly playing with them until their deaths. Ao. Just as the bandits were playing, a loud and clear cry came from the distant sky. This cry alarmed many people in this region, including Gue Xinmeng and the bandits who were surrounding them. Everyone's eyes simultaneously looked towards the source of the cry. A fiery red shadow flew over from the sky not far away. As the shadow approached, everyone finally saw its true appearance. This was a flying demon beast. Those with sharp eyes immediately recognized the origin of this demon beast. The Scarlet Flame Sparrow. Furthermore, it's an adult Scarlet Flame Sparrow. Look, there seem to be people standing on it. Stop. With the order of the leader, the bandits who were surrounding Gue Xinmen, and the others instantly stopped their actions. In this world, there were too many people with strange tempers, and no one could guarantee that the people on the Scarlet Flame Sparrow would not attack due to some odd sense of righteousness. Therefore, it was right to be careful. They were not afraid of 10,000, but just in case. In any case, the three of them would not be able to escape. It wouldn't be too late to kill them, once the Scarlet Flame Sparrow passed. However, just as everyone thought that the Scarlet Flame Sparrow would fly directly above this place, its wings suddenly slowed down, and then it dives to the ground under the shocked gazes of the bandits and Gue Xinmeng. The bandits were dumbfounded. Gue Xinmeng and the others were also stunned. You three, come up. Xian Yi's voice slowly sounded when the Scarlet Flame Sparrow landed on the ground. Dot, Sister Xinmen. Hurry up. At this moment, Gue Yi jumped out from behind Xian Yi and waved her hand at Gue Xinmen. Yi. How could it be you? Gue Xinmen's mouth opened slightly, her face filled with disbelief. She was unable to connect this Scarlet Flame Sparrow with Gue Yi and the others. Gue Xinmen's vision was naturally not bad. The Scarlet Flame Sparrow, especially an adult Scarlet Flame Sparrow, was an existence whose strength was comparable to that of her master. Her heart was filled with doubt, but Gue Xinmen knew that this was not the time to ask. Senior brother and sister, hurry up. They are my clansmen. Clansmen. Gue Xinmen's senior brother and sister were also shocked. They still knew some of Gue Xinmen's origins. It was said that her clan leader was only at the fifth level of the soul condensation realm. Could it be that Gue Xinmen had been lying to them? Gue Xinmen came from a powerful clan. No, it was impossible. Gue Xinmen did not need to lie to them. Looking at Gue Xinmen's appearance, he seemed to be filled with doubt. The three of them boarded the Scarlet Flame Sparrow. The Scarlet Flame Sparrow flapped its wings and transformed into a fiery dot red flying figure that shot into the sky. From beginning to end, Xian Yi ignored the bandits, as if they did not exist at all. The bandits didn't say a word. It wasn't that they didn't want to, but that they didn't dare. When the Scarlet Flame Sparrow disappeared from the horizon, the bandits finally recovered their senses and touched their necks. They discovered that their bodies were soaked in sweat. How dangerous, the bandit in the lead had a pale face. It was obvious that he had received quite a bit of shock. At the same time, he felt extremely fortunate that they were not killed by that person. Sister Shinman, where have you been all these years? You haven't contacted the clan. We thought, on the Scarlet Flame Sparrow, Gue Yi impatiently asked. I. I was captured. 
Gui Shimeng looked a little embarrassed. Captured. By who? Gui Yi and the others were stunned. By my master, after an explanation, everyone finally understood what had happened. It turned out that three years ago, on the way back to Half Moon City, Gui Shimeng encountered a female eccentric. Without saying a word, she knocked Gui Shimeng unconscious. As for this strange person, she was Gui Shimeng's current master, a very powerful woman with a strange personality. If she wanted to take you in as a disciple, then she could have done it the normal way. Why would she knock you out and take you away? Gui Yi could not help but ask. This master of Gui Shimeng was too strange. From Gui Shimeng's story, Gui Yi learned that Gui Shimeng's master was a peak 8th level soul condensation realm cultivator. With her strength, she could just say that she wanted to take Gui Shimeng as her disciple and Gui Shimeng almost couldn't refuse, but why did she use that method? This. I also didn't know that it wasn't just me. Senior brother Yi and senior sister Huang were the same, they are disciples of master. However, although Master is very strict and her personality is somewhat unpredictable, she is still very nice to us. It's not that I don't want to contact the clan, but that my Master doesn't want to. She said we will be allowed to return to our clan after we break through the soul condensation realm. Sister Shimeng, you. Already at the soul condensation realm. Xian Yi and Second Elder saw through Gui Shimeng's strength with a single glance. However, Gui Yi and the others were relatively weak, so they couldn't see anything. Hearing Gui Shimeng saying this, they thought that Gui Shimeng had already broken through to the soul condensation realm. Looking at the shocked gazes of Gui Yi, Gui Lan, and the others, Gui Shimeng shook her head with a bitter smile. How is that possible? How could it be so easy to make a breakthrough to the soul condensation realm? I'm only at the seventh level of the Qi Foundation Realm. The Qi Foundation Realm. Seventh level, although she wasn't at the Soul Condensation Realm, her strength was at the seventh level of the Qi Foundation Realm which still shocked the Gui family's younger generations. Although Gui Shimeng was older than them, she was still not too much older. At such a young age, she was already at the seventh Qi Foundation layer. This kind of talent was no worse than the prodigies of the younger generation who were famous in Jinnan province. But you haven't broken through to the soul condensation realm. How did you come back, Sister Shimon? Didn't you say that your master wouldn't allow it, right? Gui Yi was puzzled. Originally, it was true. However, a few days ago, something seemed to have happened. Master suddenly agreed to let me return to the clan. I don't know exactly why. Gui Shimeng shook her head. Xian Yi was somewhat enlightened when he heard this. If his guess was correct, it should be related to the Purple Moon secret realm that was about to be opened. Sister Shimeng, what about your master? When master returned to Jinan province, she said that she had something to do, so she separated from us. She told us to wait for her in Half Moon City. After she completes her task, she will head to Half Moon City to meet us. Don't just ask me everything. E, you have to properly explain to me what's with this scarlet flame sparrow. Gui Shimeng wasn't just confused about this, she couldn't describe it as shocking either. This was an adult scarlet flame sparrow. A mature scarlet flame sparrow was also at the seventh level of the soul condensation realm. After all, her master was only at the eighth level of the soul condensation realm. Master gave it to me. Gui Yi's face turned slightly red as she glanced at Xian Yi in embarrassment. Master. Gui Shimeng's mouth slightly opened. Not only her, even her senior brother Yi and senior sister Huang also looked at Xian Yi with shock on their faces. They were not to blame for being so shocked. It was truly Gui Yi's words that exceeded their expectations. Originally, they had thought that Xian Yi was Gui Yi's friend, but they didn't know he was Gui Yi's master. He was too young. It seemed that he was about the same age as senior brother Yi. Looking at the shocked expression on Gui Shimeng's face, 
Gui Yi quickly told her about the situation. The more they heard, the more shocked Gui Ximeng and the other two were. When they found out that Xian Yi was not only an elder of the Sword Profound sect, he was also a nascent soul expert. They were so shocked that they couldn't speak. Nascent Soul Realm This young man, who was not much older than senior brother Yi, was a nascent soul expert. Gui Xinmeng and the other two knew exactly what nascent soul experts were. That was an existence that their master had to be respectful to and had bowed down when she encountered one. When Gui Yi mentioned the Duan family's sudden disaster, she was still a little worried. She was not worried about Duan Li's master. Her master could deal with a peak 8th level soul condensation cultivator. However, the Witherwood gate behind that person was a little troublesome. If the Witherwood gate behind that person did not participate, it would be fine. Once they did, even her master would be helpless. When she learned that Gu Yi had not only become a disciple of the Sword Profound sect but had also become had a nascent soul realm expert as her teacher, she was also relieved. With Xian Yi present, not to mention Duan Li's master, even the Witherwood gate behind them could not do anything to the Gui family. Find a place to rest for the night. Let's hurry tomorrow. After leaving the Yellow Sand Mountain Range unimpeded, Xian Yi glanced at the setting sun and slowly spoke. To Xian Yi, it was the same whether he rested or not. Even if he didn't sleep or eat for a few days, he wouldn't feel sleepy or hungry, but Gui Yi and the others couldn't. We will listen to Elder Xian. Everyone naturally agreed. After traveling for a day, she was somewhat exhausted. Gui Yi's stomach had long since started growling. However, she had been too embarrassed to speak. Chaos City The only city in this region. As the name implied, the city of chaos was a place of chaos. Because they were close to the dark forest and the yellow sand mountain range, there were all sorts of people, including mercenaries, adventurers, fugitives, and so on. In short, this was a chaotic and ungovernable city. There were no rules in the city, and the power balance was complicated. In this place, the person with the biggest fist was right. By the time Xian Yi arrived, the sky had already darkened. In order not to attract the attention of others, the Scarlet Flame Sparrow transformed into an imprint that was imprinted on Gui Yi's brows. When they entered the city, Gui Yi and the others could see the unrestrained gazes of the people around them. Gui Yi and the others were a little nervous. On the other hand, Xian Yi was just like someone who had nothing to do with those staring at him. This was related to strength. To the weak, everything was filled with danger. As for experts, as long as you were strong enough, any place would be a back garden. After finding an inn, Xian Yi walked alone on the streets of the City of Chaos. When he entered the city, he heard quite a few people talking about a large auction being held in the chaotic city, and there were quite a few good things. As there was nothing to do, Xian Yi planned to go and take a look. Perhaps there was something good about it. As for Gui Yi and the others, Xian Yi was not worried. Not to mention the Scarlet Flame Sparrow, Xian Yi had placed an imprint on Gui Yi's body. Once she was in any danger, Xian could sense it in an instant. The auction house was located in the center of the city. When Xian Yi arrived here, the auction seemed to have started. This auction house here was naturally not a simple place. They had to be unique to do business in the city of chaos. It was said that behind this auction house stood a peak 7th level soul condensation realm cultivator. It was one of the strongest powers in the city of chaos. Chapter 17 A Stong Bitter you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 17. A Stong Bitter. Chapter 17. A Stong Bitter. Spirit Snake Sword, a mid grade, level 3 weapon. It was made by a level 3 refiner, Master Ching Hong. The starting price is 300,000 gold coins. 350,000. 400,000. 500,000. 
As soon as the female auctioneer on the stage finished speaking, a series of bids rang out from within the auction house. Regardless of whether it was weapons, medicinal pills, or cultivation techniques, in the divine profound continent, they were divided into nine levels. The lowest was at level 1, and the highest was level 9. Among them, level 1 corresponded to the Qi condensation realm, level 2 corresponded to the Qi foundation realm, and level 3 corresponded to the soul condensation realm. However, even so, the status and reputation of refiners and alchemists were much higher than those of the same level. For example, Qing Hong, the level 3 equipment refiner mentioned by the auctioneer, was merely only a level 3 equipment refiner, but even ordinary nascent soul experts had to treat him politely. Although a mid-grade level 3 weapon was not bad, it was only so.so. With Xian Yi's strength, the only weapons that could enter his eyes were at least a fourth level weapon. Thus, he wasn't interested in the spirit snake sword. In the end, the spirit snake sword was bought for 880,000 gold coins. Gold coins were the currency of this world. 100 gold coins were enough for an ordinary person to live comfortably for a year. Therefore, the price of 80,000 gold coins was already very high. Xian Yi wasn't interested in the next few items, but he didn't leave. In the auction, the main events were usually held at the end, so Xian Yi was not in a hurry. Next, the item to be auctioned is called the spirit fruit. This fruit can be used to repair spiritual sense injuries. Apart from that, it has another effect. It is to increase the strength of spiritual sense. To refiners and alchemists, it is a great supplement. The starting bid is 1 million gold coins. Now, the auction begins. As soon as the female auctioneer finished speaking, many people in the auction house began to stir. Not all of these people had injured their spiritual sense. What made them restless was the second effect of the spirit fruit. They might not necessarily be alchemists, but they could use this to trade with alchemists. It was well known that alchemists and refiners were all very distinguished. Normally, they would not easily help others refine their pills. However, if you had a spirit fruit, then it would be a different matter. Sis. It is the spirit fruit. We didn't come here for nothing. Father can be saved. That's great. When father's injuries are healed, I'll see who would dare to make such a mistake. Not far from Xian Yi was a pair of siblings. Behind them was an old man. He wasn't weak, his cultivation was at the early sixth level of the soul condensation realm. After the spirit fruit appeared, the two of them were so excited that they danced. Even the old man behind them revealed a smile. The three of them were not from the city of chaos. They were from vast sea city several hundred kilometers away, and they were also from the Li family, the number one clan in vast sea city. The elder sister was called Li Fei, and the younger brother, Li Hao. The elder behind them was the third elder of the Li family. The reason why the three of them had appeared in the city of chaos was precisely because of the spirit fruit. Half a month ago, when the Li clan's patriarch went out, he encountered an enemy that ambushed him. With his terrifying strength at the seventh level of the soul condensation realm, although the Li clan's patriarch had killed all the people who had attacked, he had also suffered heavy injuries. The most fatal thing was that his spiritual sense had been injured. After that, the Li family began to search for a medicine that could repair spiritual sense with all their might. The medicine that could repair spiritual sense was not easy to find. The reason why the Li clan had stood on top in vast sea city for many years was because of the Li clan's patriarch. Right now, the various powers in vast sea city were eyeing them covetously. It could be imagined that once the Li clan's patriarch died, those enemies from the past would probably instantly kill them. A week ago, Li Fei and Li Hao overheard that the City of Chaos auction house would auction a spirit fruit soon. They immediately rushed over from Vast Sea City. Originally, they had come to try their luck. Who would have thought that the spirit fruit would appear? With the spirit fruit, the Li clan patriarch, their father, would be saved. 
Under normal circumstances, the price of the spirit fruit would not exceed three million gold coins. For this reason, the three of Lee clans had prepared more than seven million gold coins, and they could be said to be dead set on obtaining the spirit fruit. The appearance of the spirit fruit caused the three of them to be extremely excited. However, just as they started bidding, a slightly hoarse voice slowly sounded out. 1.1 million gold coins. I'll take this spirit fruit. His hoarse voice echoed throughout the auction house under the support of his spiritual power. The terrifying pressure caused countless people to be unable to breathe. Especially those who tried to bid for the spirit fruit, their expressions were even more difficult to see. The seemingly simple sentence was filled with a sense of threat. In particular, the pressure that followed was filled with a warning. Sure enough, after this person finished speaking, the entire auction house was extremely quiet, and no one dared to bid. There was nothing they could do about it. The pressure that that person emanated was too powerful, and it wasn't something that they could afford to provoke. The other party even used a threat. It could be seen that even if they finally bid for the spirit fruit, they would probably not be able to leave the city of chaos or even leave this auction house. 1. Like ants on a hot pot, refers to someone or something, being in a state of feverish excitement. Chapter 18 How dare you behave arrogantly in front of this sovereign? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 18 How dare you behave arrogantly in front of this sovereign? Senior, you. This doesn't conform to the rules. The beautiful female auctioneer on the stage also had a rather ugly expression on her face. With a frown, she looked at the black dot clothed middle dot aged man in the corner. The previous offer and threat had come from him. As an auctioneer of the auction house, she naturally had to pay attention to the interests of the auction house. Now that the black dot clothed middle dot aged man had said this, he had directly caused everyone to not dare to bid and indirectly caused the auction house to lose over a million gold coins. Originally, she would have been able to obtain over 2.3 million for the spirit fruit, but now she had only obtained 1.1 million. Rules What rules? Did I say that I won't let them bid? The black dot robed middle dot aged man sneered. This, the auctioneer was a little troubled. Besides, so what if I break the rules? Little fellow, do you have any objections? The middle dot aged man's gaze swept past the auctioneer and looked somewhere behind her. Huh, senior is joking. This junior does not dare to have any objections. A respectful voice sounded from within the auction house. Everyone guessed that the owner of the voice was likely the owner of the auction house. Dot a simple exchange of words shocked many people in the auction house. They knew the strength of the auction house's owner. He was at the peak of the seventh level of the soul condensation realm. To be able to make a peak seventh level soul condensation realm expert call him senior. How strong was he? The eighth level of the soul condensation realm. Or even the ninth level of the soul condensation realm. In reality, they were right. Under Xian Yi's perception, the black dot robed middle. Aged man's cultivation base was completely visible. Early ninth level soul condensation. No wonder he was so arrogant. With the strength of a ninth level soul condensation realm expert, he was almost invincible. At this moment, the person with the most unsightly expression in the entire auction hall was the Lee family's siblings. The appearance of the spirit fountain fruit made them wild with joy, thinking that the patriarch was saved. However, the sudden surprise that entered the auction made their hopes shatter. Sister, what should we do? Father is about to die. Without the spirit fruit, we, Li Hao was about to cry. In the end, nobody was more desperate than them. Senior, my father's divine sense has been heavily injured. Now, he urgently needs this spirit fruit. Senior, can you give it to us? We are willing to take out seven million gold coins to purchase this spirit fruit with Senior. As she gritted her teeth, Li Fei braced herself and asked. 
she had no choice but to stand up with her head on because this spirit fruit was related to the life or death of her Lee family's people. Although seven million gold coins far exceeded the value of the spirit fruit itself, if she could buy it, it would be worth it to the Lee clan. Scram! An explosive shout, accompanied by oppressive might, caused Li Fei to spit out a mouthful of blood. Her face was as pale as paper. Li Hao beside her and the second elder behind her were also heavily injured to varying degrees. What are you still standing there for? The black dot robed middle dot aged man looked at the female auctioneer. Yes, 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 going once for 1.1 million gold coins. 1.1 million gold coins going twice. 1.1 million gold coins going thrice. Sold. Congratulations, senior, for bidding 1.1 million gold coins for the spirit fruit. The female auctioneer forced out a smile with difficulty. Next up is. The sword soul grass. After consuming the sword soul grass, it would give the user a chance to comprehend the initial form of sword intent. The starting price will be 300,000 gold coins. Oh. The appearance of the sword soul grass gave Xian Yi a bit of energy. He could not use the sword soul grass, but his disciple, Gue Yi, could use it. Although he had been hurrying along these past few days, Xian Yi had been teaching Gue Yi through voice transmission. It had to be said that Gue Yi was indeed quite talented in comprehending the Tao of the Sword. In less than two days, she had a deep understanding of the Tao of the Sword. She was not far from comprehending the embryonic form of Sword intent. She was only missing an opportunity. Perhaps this Sword Soul Grass could help Gue Yi comprehend the embryonic form of Sword intent in one go. The reason why Gue Yi was able to understand the Sword Dao in such a short period was related to her innate talent. However, a large part of the reason was that Xian Yi, who had comprehended Sword Intent, was present. A master who had comprehended Sword Intent was enough to make Gue Yi walk a lot less on the path to comprehending the Dao of the Sword than other Sword cultivators. However, the only thing Xian Yi could help with was this. After comprehending the embryonic form of sword intent, Gue Yi could only rely on herself if she wanted to comprehend it further. The embryonic form of sword intent was not too difficult to comprehend. What was difficult to comprehend was sword intent. 310,000 gold coins. I'll take this sword soul grass. Just as Xian Yi was about to bid, a familiar voice sounded again. Oh. That black dot robed middle dot aged man. This time, although the black dot robed middle dot aged man hadn't emitted his oppressive might, people had learned from the past. Who would dare to bid for the items he bid for? Many of the people who were preparing to bid for the sword soul grass sighed and gave up. Xian Yi's gaze also looked at the black dot clothed middle dot aged man. His calm voice slowly sounded out. 350,000 the sudden price increase caused quite a few people in the auction house to gasp. The entire auction house was incomparably quiet, the drop of a needle could be heard. After the black dot robed middle dot aged man's bid, everyone believed that there was no longer any suspense about the ownership of the sword soul grass. No one would bid against the black dot clothed middle dot aged man, let alone dare to. However, in the eyes of countless people, something impossible had happened. Everyone's gazes simultaneously turned to the owner of the voice. It was a handsome young man dressed in white. Who the hell are you? You dare, you're nothing. How dare you act arrogantly in front of this sovereign? Buzz. Before the black dot robed middle dot aged man could finish speaking, a boundless pressure descended. If the pressure from the black dot clothed middle dot aged man earlier was like a lake, then the pressure from the white dot clothed young man now gave off felt as if it was as vast as the Yellow River. Chapter 19 A Single Strike Nascent Soul You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Nascent Soul He is definitely at Nascent Soul. Nascent Soul Expert that black dot robed man is done for. 
the hearts of countless people trembled. This pressure was not something that someone of the soul condensation realm could possess. What exactly was going on in Chaos City today? First, it was a black dot robed middle dot aged man who was suspected of being at the eighth level of the soul condensation realm. Now, even a nascent soul expert had appeared. Experts of this level were rarely seen, especially cultivators in the nascent soul realm. It had been a long time since a nascent soul expert had appeared in the Chaos City. At the same time, many people began to gloat. The actions of the black dot robed middle dot aged man earlier had long caused many people's dissatisfaction. Of course, they could only feel dissatisfaction in their hearts and not show it on their faces. Now that the black dot clothed middle dot aged man had kicked an iron plate, everyone couldn't help but gloat in their hearts. Weren't you very awesome? Weren't you very overbearing? Didn't you just kick an iron plate? How arrogant could you be? How domineering could you be, the boundless pressure contained a wisp of dense killing intent. The black dot clothed middle dot aged man had sensed this killing intent as well. At the moment a tempestuous storm arose in his heart, the movements of his hands weren't slow either. He directly crushed a jade slip that he had taken out of nowhere. He transformed into a silver ray of light that shot out of the auction house and rushed out of the city. This jade slip was the black dot robed middle dot aged man's life dot saving trump card. Back then, he had spent quite a lot of effort to obtain it. Once the jade slip was crushed, his speed would instantly increase by several times. Unless it was necessary, the black dot robed middle. Aged man was unwilling to use it. He only had one jade slip, and if he used it, it would be gone. However, the black dot robed middle dot aged man knew very well that if he didn't use it at this moment, he feared that he would never have the chance to use it again. Compared to his own life, no matter how precious this jade slip was, what worth would it be? Swoosh! The black dot robed middle dot aged man was an early ninth level soul condensation realm cultivator. After crushing the jade slip, his speed instantly increased several times, and he had already surpassed the realm of soul condensation realm cultivators. The fleeing black dot robed middle dot aged man's movements were extremely loud, and it quickly attracted the attention of many experts in the city. Within an elegant courtyard, two old men, who were playing chess, quickly stood up. They looked into the distance and frowned slightly. They saw a silver light that had rushed out of the city. The owner of the silver light was the black dot robed middle dot aged man. That person is very powerful. The two old men looked at each other and saw the shock in their eyes. The two of them were top experts in Chaos City, and they were strong enough to be on the same level as the owner of the auction house in the city. However, compared to this black dot clothed middle dot aged man, they were naturally inferior. This black dot robed middle dot aged man was definitely at the eighth or ninth level of the soul condensation realm. What shocked them wasn't all the terrifying power that the black dot robed man had revealed. Instead, if they weren't mistaken, this black dot robed middle dot aged man, it seemed, was he fleeing for his life? The two old men were stunned. A peak soul condensation realm expert was fleeing for his life. Right at the moment as countless people were shocked, the black dot robed middle dot aged man was about to arrive at the city gate. He was about to charge out of the chaos city. However, right at this moment, a scene that shocked countless people in the city instantly descended. In the sky above the city of chaos, an enormous hand slowly pushed open the clouds and pressed down on the black dot robed middle dot aged man. The speed of this void hand seemed to be very slow, but it was merely because it was too enormous, it was actually extremely fast. The black dot robed middle dot aged man seemed to have sensed something as well. He raised his head and looked up into the sky. It was fine if he didn't look at it, but when he did, he was almost scared to death. With a single glance, he knew that he was finished. This giant hand was too large, so large that no matter how he tried to escape, he couldn't escape the enemy suppression. Boom! 
Under everyone's shocked gazes, the palm struck down fiercely, and violent spiritual power instantly crushed the black dot-robed man into nothingness. The deafening roar caused many people to hear a buzz in their ears. This scene was too shocking to the countless people in the city. An expert at the eighth or ninth level of the soul condensation realm was a supreme existence in their eyes. Just like that. Like a fly, he was slapped to death. At this moment, many people began to doubt their lives. Many people were limited by their talent. Their goal in life was only to become a soul condensation realm expert. But now, this scene was telling them that even if they reached the soul condensation realm, they wouldn't be able to escape the fate of being beaten to death like ants. What was the point of cultivating? However, this doubt only lasted for a moment. The black dot rogue middle dot aged man had died because he had provoked someone he shouldn't have provoked. Nascent soul. Many experts in the city took a deep breath as they looked at the spiritual power palm that slowly dissipated. To be able to easily kill an expert at the eighth level of the soul condensation realm, the owner of that huge palm was a nascent soul expert. In the city, Guei Shimeng and the others who ran out of the inn happened to witness the scene of the black dot robed middle dot aged man being crushed down from the air. Her mouth slightly opened, Guei Shimeng's heart filled with shock. That, an expert above the eighth level of the soul condensation realm. However, this was an existence at the peak of the soul condensation realm. He was crushed to death. Her master was only at the peak of the eighth level of the soul condensation realm. Its master. Guei, who was extremely familiar with Xian Yi's aura, similarly cried out in alarm. This was the first time she had witnessed Xian Yi taking action. Before this, her concept of Xian Yi was that he was only very strong. She didn't know exactly how strong it was. And now, after witnessing this scene, she finally gained an initial understanding of how powerful Xian Yi was. An expert of the same level as Duan Li's master was nothing more than an ant in front of her master. What kind of person was Duan Li's master? The elder of the Witherwood sect, an existence at the peak of the eighth level of the soul condensation realm, had only revealed that he was going to return to Half Moon City with Duan Li at a mere moment's notice. This had caused the Gui family to be terrified. They were an extremely powerful clan that had fallen into dire straits. Even though she was Xian Yi's disciple, Gui Yi's shock was not inferior to Gui Xinmeng and the others. What? Is it Elder Xian Yi? Gui Xinmeng and the others were shocked and they heard this. They were not Gui Yi. They could not tell from auras that the owner of that enormous hand was Xian Yi. Now that they heard this, the shock in their hearts became even greater. Chapter 20 Do the heavens want to destroy my Gui family? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The next morning, everyone who had spent an entire night in the chaotic city set off early. The incident yesterday caused Gui Xinmeng and the others to have a little more respect for Xian Yi. Along the way, they were much more reserved. Other than Gui Yi from time to time saying a few words to Xian Yi, the others did not dare to communicate with Xian Yi at all. Xian Yi saw all of this. He smiled bitterly but did not mind. It would be better if no one bothered him. That way, he could focus on teaching Gui Yi. Xian Yi planned to raise Gui Yi's strength by a few levels before she arrived at Half Moon City. It would be best if she successfully comprehended the embryonic form of sword intent. Originally, with Xian Yi's guidance, even without the sword's soul grass, it was inevitable for Gui Yi to comprehend the initial form of sword intent. However, the appearance of the sword's soul grass had greatly reduced Gui Yi's time needed for her to comprehend the initial form of sword intent. At a certain moment, Gui Yi's eyelashes fluttered as she sat cross-legged on the back of the scarlet flame sparrow, and her eyes suddenly opened. A wisp of ecstasy was hard to conceal in the depths of her eyes. Master, I, Gui Yi was interrupted by Xian Yi just as she spoke. Xian Yi's gaze was gentle as he sent a voice transmission, don't be in a hurry. At that time, 
the Half Moon City Grand Competition will give that so dot called Duan family's genius a pleasant surprise. Huh, the moment Gue Yi had opened her eyes, Xian Yi sensed something. She had already comprehended the embryonic form of sword intent. In the entire Heavenly Wind Kingdom, even though there were people who comprehended it, there was no one in the entire Heavenly Wind Kingdom who could comprehend it at the Qi condensation stage. Gue Yi, who was at the fourth level of Qi condensation, comprehended the embryonic form of sword intent, she would probably have few opponents in the Qi condensation realm. An ordinary ninth level of Qi condensation would probably be defeated in a single strike. The ability to fight across five or six levels seemed to be extremely exaggerated, but it also benefited from the fact that Gu Ei's strength was only at the fourth level of Qi condensation. The lower her cultivation level was, the less difficult it would be to fight across levels. We're here. A city appeared in front of. Xian Yi. This city was Half Moon City. Half Moon City, in the Gue family mansion. Patriarch Gue Tiancheng kept pacing back and forth. The situation had lasted for quite some time. Around the hall sat a group of senior members of the Gue family. The atmosphere was solemn. At this moment, everyone was waiting for their last hope. Patriarch. They are back. Second Elder, Young Master Gue Lan is back. At this moment, a hurried figure rushed into the hall. Everyone in the hall was delighted when they heard this. Gui Tiancheng rushed out of the hall impatiently while the other senior members of the Gui family followed closely behind. Gui Tiancheng and the others who rushed out of the hall saw the second elder and the others. However, everyone's gazes only stayed on the second elder for a moment before they simultaneously gathered on Gui Lan. It wasn't their fault. Although almost all of the Gue family's talented juniors had gone to the Sword Profound sect this time, in the hearts of all the Gue family's higher dot ups, the one who had the most hope of entering the Profound Sword sect was none other than Gue Lan, who was the number one junior in Half Moon City. As for the other juniors, in their eyes, the chances of entering the Profound Sword sect were extremely slim if they were to make a trip. How is it? Gue Lan, have you been chosen by the Profound Sword sect? Gui Tiancheng asked first. This question caused all the higher dot ups of the Gui family to hold their breaths because Gui Lan's next answer was extremely likely to affect the Gui family's survival. Gu Lan's expression changed indeterminately as everyone stared at him anxiously. This expression caused the hearts of all the senior members of the Gui family, including the patriarch, Gui Tiancheng, to jump. Lan, er, tell me. Have you entered the Profound Sword sect? The Great Elder also urged anxiously. No, no. Gritting his teeth, Gu Lan felt extremely humiliated. Boom. Hearing this, everyone in the Gui family felt as if their hearts had been struck by a giant hammer. Like the sky had collapsed. The heavens are going to destroy my Gui family. The First Elder closed his eyes as if he accepted his fate. Patriarch, don't worry. Although Gui Lan was not chosen, the young miss was chosen. What? E. It's actually the young miss, how is that possible? How is young miss talent comparable to young master Lan? He didn't blame everyone for being so surprised. Gui Lan's talent was so strong that it had already shaken the hearts of everyone. Not only was he the number one genius of the Gui family, but he was also the number one genius of Half Moon City. But now, Gui Lan, who was known as the number one genius in Half Moon City, wasn't selected by the Profound Sword sect. On the contrary, Gui Yi, who was inferior to Gui Lan in natural talent, was selected. This. Although Gui Yi's talent wasn't bad, compared to Gui Lan, there was still quite a difference. Even in the Gui family, she couldn't rank within the top three, let alone amongst the entire Half Moon City. However, no matter how unbelievable it was, the truth was right before their eyes, and they couldn't help but believe it. The Second Elder couldn't be joking about this. Second Elder, are you telling the truth? Gui Tiancheng's voice trembled slightly. 
Just now, when he learned that Gui Lan had not been chosen by the Profound Sword sect, he had already lost all hope. But now, Second Elder's words had pulled him back from the abyss. Even though he knew that Second Elder couldn't deceive him, and even more impossible for him to joke about such matters, he still couldn't help but ask again. Absolutely. The Second Elder nodded his head heavily and continued, not only that, but he has also become a disciple of an extremely powerful elder of the Profound Sword sect. Patriarch, our Gui family is saved. When they heard this, all the higher dot-ups of the Gui clan, including Gui Tiancheng, were shocked. An elder of the Profound Sword sect. They knew very well what the words elder meant. Although the Profound Sword sect was not the strongest in Jinnan province, it was still one of the top sects in Jinnan province. Someone who could become an elder was at least the high level of the soul condensation realm. Guei. She had accepted such an expert as her master. Good, good, good. Guei Tiancheng was so excited that he was incoherent. Fortunately. Fortunately, the Guei family had not been destroyed by him. Otherwise, he would have been a sinner of the Guei family. I almost forgot. Patriarch. Let me introduce you. This is Elder Xian of the Profound Sword Sect, Yi's master. This time around, we return to Half Moon City together to resolve the matter of the Witherwood Gate. After feeling excited, the second elder remembered that before he could do anything else he had to introduce Xian Yi in a hurry. It was also at this time that the members of the Gui family noticed the young man standing beside Gui Yi. Earlier, almost everyone's attention had been focused on Gui Lan and Second Elder, not paying attention to Xian Yi's existence at all. When everyone in the Gui family noticed Xian Yi, they were a little surprised. This young man who did not seem to be much older than Gui Yi was the profound sword sex elder. Although they knew that they couldn't judge people by their appearances, Xian Yi seemed to be a little too young. Senior Xian, welcome, you must have come from afar. After chatting for a while, Xian Yi left with Gui Yi. The day of the Purple Moon Secret Realm's opening was getting closer and closer. Xian Yi wanted to increase Gui Yi's strength as much as possible during this period so that she could protect herself after entering the Purple Moon Secret Realm. Right now, Gui Yi's strength was far from enough. To the members of the Gui family, there were simply too many surprises today. First, Gui Yi had joined the Profound Sword sect, and she had even become a disciple of an elder of the Profound Sword sect. Then Gui Ximen returned. After some explanation, Gui Tiancheng and the others had also learned about Gui Ximen's experiences over the years. When they found out that Gui Ximen's master was an 8th level soul condensation realm expert, the faces of all the higher dot-ups almost burst out laughing. The Sword Profound sect, Elder Xian, and Gui Ximeng's master. Their Gui family was about to rise. Right, second elder, how powerful is this elder Xian? Who is stronger or weaker? The one who asked this question was the grand elder of the Gui family. As soon as those words were spoken, everyone's gazes turned to second elder. They were also extremely curious about Xian Yi's strength. Xian Yi was too young. If it wasn't for the second elder's words, they wouldn't even have linked the Xian Yi and the Profound Sword sex elder together, hee <laughs> hee, you guys might as well guess. The second elder teased meaningfully. Seventh level soul condensation. A person who could become an elder of the Sword Profound sect must be a high dot level soul condensation realm expert. What was a high? Level soul condensation realm expert. A person above the seventh level of the soul condensation realm was at the high levels of their realm. The one who spoke was fifth elder. When he heard this second elder glanced at him and shook his head. Eighth level of soul condensation. The second elder looked at patriarch Gui Tiancheng and shook his head. Don't let us wait. Hurry up and say it. First elder snorted coldly and urged. When the second elder saw this, he no longer intended to keep his mouth shut. He lightly spat out three words. Nv. Nascent Soul Realm. After a short period of silence, 
everyone who didn't know about it widened their eyes as they stared at Second Elder in disbelief.